Now, everybody, we've got some red crested Kohans. Now, they don't have any obvious red crest, and these ones never do. That's a female. And her little chick, who's probably from this season, um, but they don't ever get the red crest. It's only the male that has a red crest, and he only sticks it up when he does this outlandishly ridiculous dance for the female in order to attract her. And otherwise, they don't really have a red crest at all. There's the chick, who's not much so much a chick as a fledgling now, definitely well able to fly. Just slightly smaller than the mum. This is a really, really good sighting of them. Brilliant stuff, and I think that's a... F you can tell if it's male or female. The males are grey on top of the head. That might be a young male. Just going grey on the top. And there's the female. She'll be looking for any kind of invertebrate that she can find, any sort of form of insect or grub. Listen. She's just calling the chick. She went, Look at those such distinct arrows on her, the feathers of her wings. And they fly very well, these birds. They're not restricted to the ground at all. But you can see they are ground operating or dwelling because they're so beautifully camouflaged. And it really, truly is an astounding thing to watch these animals doing their sort of mating dance. It's a little bit like watching sort of... Um, it's like watching sort of a, an extremely drunk person, drunk man, trying to uh, dance his way into a woman's heart, you know, which normally doesn't work, of course. In fact, it never works. I'm just going to quickly talk to Herbie while you enjoy that. Go ahead. And sit up, Lance. Herbert's just saying that he's found some lions, but they're in, they're on Vuitella, so I think Brent will probably go back towards them. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? Look! Okay, copy, I'll tell, I'll, I'll get hold of Brent. So, Rebecca, just if you'd let Brent know to get hold of Herbie on Channel One. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 